and welcome to a very wet and windy day here in the UK. But more importantly, welcome to my new car. Now I know some of you who may have watched my previous video are probably wondering what is going on. Because in my last video, I was pretty anti RS3. I explained why it was predominantly to do with the money and a few other reasons. But here I am sat in my new 2017 RS3 and I love it. I've had the car for just under two weeks on the day of recording this video. It all happened very very quickly so when I recorded my last video I had no intention of even looking at RS3s let alone buying one but I was in Milton Keynes. I decided that it would be a good idea to look into maybe a Golf R I went to the VW garage and they didn't have any, so Audi was just around the corner. I went and had a look and this car was sat in the car park, brand new, unregistered. I had a look around the car. As you can see, it's blue. I wasn't very kind of too sure on the blue, but I liked it. I liked the, the look of the car and uh, I inquired. They managed to do me a really, really good deal and uh, I just kind of jumped into it. So I paid a deposit and then a few days later the finance was all approved and then a few days after that I collected the car, so just the week before Christmas. And uh, I think I'm still getting used to the car, it still feels a little surreal, but I thought I should explain why did I even go looking at cars in the first place. Well, in my previous video I mentioned that I'd had some issues with the Abarth and unfortunately those issues just carried on for the few days after that video was recorded. I think that video was recorded on the Thursday, on the Friday and the Saturday after issues just kept cropping up and it did make me doubt the car overall. I just thought okay I'm sure the car is fine, it's probably just bad luck but regardless it kind of put me off the car overall and it made me regret not just getting an RS3 to begin with. So my idea was, okay, well, let's look into a cheaper alternative, hence the Golf R. But because they didn't have any and I did feel as though I was possibly settling, that's no discredit to the Golf R, they're great cars. Um, it just so happened that this car was at Audi on the day that I went to have a look. So the issues I'd had with the Abarth were the main reason why I looked into alternative cars but there were a few other things or a few other doubts I had about buying an RS3 which you may recall from my previous videos about how similar it might be to my S3 and I couldn't be couldn't be any more wrong thankfully I couldn't be any more wrong because this car feels so different from an S3 now I guess to some people it, 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 it probably wouldn't, to some it, it will, to me it does. Uh, just the car on the road, I know it's not much wider but somehow it feels wider when you're driving it. I think the sound of course adds to the uh, feel and also of course the way it drives. I wasn't sure how much quicker an RS3 would be over an S3 but they are worlds apart. The way this car puts power down is very different to the way the S3 puts power down. I would say that the S3 is probably a little bit more, I guess, jerky at the lower rev, so it's a bit more kind of ready to go. Um, whereas this tends to build power more gradually. It's a much more linear fashion, so it's a much nicer drive. And this particular car doesn't have mag ride, and I don't know whether it's because it's new, but it is 100% softer than my S3 was. So all of those doubts I had about buying one of these, thankfully, I've been proven wrong about. And uh, I didn't test drive this car, so I really did just jump in blindly, hoping for the best, and thankfully it worked out. So besides the fact that this is an RS3, there are some other kind of... Um, 
upgrades this car has that my S3 doesn't have. So the Super Sport seats is one of them. Uh, this car is, let me just run through the whole spec. So this car is Aura Blue, which is Audi's crystal effect. I think they call it blue paint. It looks very nice. The car has the matte aluminium pack, which I believe is standard on RS3s. When I originally spec my white RS3, I wanted the black styling pack, but actually I think the silver or the aluminium looks much better with this blue, in my opinion. It also has the comfort and sound pack, so I've got keyless entry, push to start, the Bangla Lufsen sound system and the reversing camera as well. This car also has the 19-inch uh, black rotor alloys with the brake calipers painted in red, which I think look really good with this car again. And then also it has the sports exhaust, which just sounds incredible. I know a lot of people compare the facelift to the pre-facelift with the sound, the cracks and the pops, etc. But coming from an S3, this still cracks and pops much more than my S3 ever did, so I'm happy with the sound. It really does sound like an old R8 V10 Plus, the older, like kind of 2012, 2013 year R8s. It really does sound like one of those. It's epic. Um, and it also has the rear windows tinted and that's about it on the spec front so it's not all out but it's enough um, carbon inlays inside uh, and I think that's it they come with the virtual cockpit as standard and I am going to do a separate video where I talk about the interior of this car and also the virtual cockpit what is it like to use do I find it distracting etc but as an initial video to introduce this car to my channel, I just wanted to say that I'm very, very happy with the car. I love it already. Um, I cannot wait to, to do more drives in this. I'm planning to take it to different places, uh, head over to Wales and just different roads all around the UK really, just to kind of experience this more as a, a driving car, if that makes sense, as opposed to driving it to and from work every day or uh, at the weekends just to Tesco. Okay, so here we are outside of the car. As I said, it's very, very windy. So I do apologize for any background noise that you may hear. Touch wood, it's not too bad. But if it is too bad, then I'm probably not gonna include much of this footage and instead I will just include B-roll. So here it is, 2017 RS3 in Ara Blue. When I picked this car up, it had done 45 miles, so it's very, very new. And uh, let me just give you a tour of what this looks like. So we have the matte aluminium pack. So we have the front bumper, which is got the aluminium details. We also have the wing mirrors as well, which are also in the standard S or Audi Sport silver and then also the window sills are matte aluminium too. But interestingly, the rear diffuser is black with just a little bit of the matte aluminium detail as well. As I said, this car has the Audi Sports exhaust. So you've got the two black tips. Sounds very, very nice. I'll do a separate video talking through the sound in more detail when it's a bit less windy out. Tinted windows, we then have the 19 inch rotor alloys with the red brake calipers, just give you a closer look at those. Um, again, I think they look pretty cool with the blue, the black and the red, it just gives the car a little bit of character. And that is pretty much the outside of the car. I think it looks really good as a complete car, it's not necessarily what I had in mind when I thought about specking my own car but what do you think do you think it looks good are you a fan of the rs3 let me know what you think in the comments this is going to be the end of this video and until the next one where i talk more about the interior thank you very much for watching thank you very much for liking my videos and more importantly thank you to everybody who is subscribing i will speak to you all very soon peace